Physical Media Man back here again for another Physical Media Man Monday. I got um, the month of June 50% off Saturday for um, my local and a neighboring town's Goodwills. I also have um, the next day I actually ended up going to two more Goodwills. Um, so they weren't 50% off, but got some stuff there too. So I'm going to show that off. I also went to the Adam Sandler concert um, with buddy and viewer Corey uh, we had a great time I got this shirt the Sandman um, and of course has the tour dates on the back um, and a CD from the show I'll show that off too um, had a good time so I think that's it um, before I get started make sure to like subscribe comment leave feedback do all that good stuff down below I'll leave the links to my Instagram page my physical media man store Instagram page my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store. My Facebook page for non-media related items, the HodgePodge Garage. My email, my eBay, my Twitter, my Letterboxd account, um, and my Film Aficionado account where you can follow along with my collection, which is not yet up to date, as well as my wish list of movies I'm after. Okay, so first, um, this was the way I think uh, I'll probably end up doing it from now on. I went to the neighboring towns Goodwill first. Um, it's usually packed because I go there second and the line's ridiculous every time I've gone so it's been like a half an hour wait probably at least um, every time I've I've gone there um, on the 50% off day so went there first didn't have any trouble looking through everything got a lot of good stuff so uh, I'm gonna start with some non media related stuff we got um, or non physical media items but they are media related I guess um, or movie related uh, first up we got Alan from The Hangover with baby Carlos bobblehead um, this was like so yeah so I also got like a 10% discount or something like that um, with my Goodwill Rewards card um, so everything was a little less than um, what they normally would be so this was supposed to be $5 with the 50% off so um, happy to add this I'll probably get rid of this box it's kind of gross um, I'll probably put him on display somewhere, um, especially once I get some shelves and whatnot. Then I also got, which I thought was definitely worth it, the Black Series of um, Star Wars characters from, I'm not sure if it says which movie, I think it was from the, the first of the, the newer ones. We got Han Solo, um, and it was $7.50, so I thought that was definitely worth it, and it looks brand new, so... Um, probably won't open it up um, but I used to have a, I guess I still do I have a lot of Star Wars characters from when I was younger so happy to add that and my wife got some shoes um, these shirts probably aren't worth showing I'm not going to show those. I got some books. Um, we got Don't Put Me In Coach by Mark Titus. If you're familiar with his story in Club Trill, um, I'm looking forward to reading this. He was a walk on at Ohio State. I, I think he was a walk on. He never played, really, so um, it's just kind of the story of a student athlete. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that. And then I used to be a Cleveland Indians fan, um, so we got some Omar Vizquel and Omar, my life on and off the field. Looking forward to checking that out. And I got some Pete Rose with Pete Rose, my story. Don't think I have this one. I've read uh, My Prison Without Bars, but I have not read this, and I don't think I had it. So and these were cheap. I don't really remember the price. And lastly, book-wise, we got Indiana Wine, A History. Um, looked kind of interesting, so pick that up. And I got some media here. We got Mario Kart Wii. Very, very, very excited about this one. <clears throat> Only $3. 
been on the hunt for it for a while um, and the price was always too much I didn't want to pay too much for it so very happy to add it um, and it does have the manual too so very happy to finally add that to the collection um, this will be for sale uh, I wasn't really familiar with it but it's brand new factory sealed we got heat guy J hidden fangs if you're interested in this let me know um, we also got the secret garden and this was a dollar fifty um, adding to our collection on that one this will also be for sale we got super smash bros we or super smash bros brawl sorry um, already have this in my collection so picked it up to sell and it is complete I'll have to double check and excuse me make sure my copy is complete but it'll be for sale and this will also be for sale. We got brand new factory sealed October Sky with Jake Gyllenhaal. A great movie. Um, I already have my own copy. So. And then also to add to our collection, and if you watched um, the Dollar Tree video, I picked up the sequel. We got Frankie Muniz, Paul Giamatti, and Amanda Bynes in Big Fat Liar. So dollar fifty, happy to add it to the collection. Sorry, I got a, got a mess here, guys. Um, and next, I went to my local Goodwill. Got some good stuff there as well. For a dollar, we got some Boston. And this is Walk On. Um, here is the track listing. Let's see if you guys can see that. I also got some uh, Gloria Estefan Greatest Hits. Um, here's the track listing there, if you guys can see that. This, of course, has Conga, Conga on it. That was my favorite of hers. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Um, got this brand new factory sealed for $1.50. The decade you were born, the 60s. Um, kind of interested in this type of thing. So looking forward to checking that out. I was very happy to add this to the collection for my FC Films. We got a Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie I didn't have in an uncertainty. The disc wasn't completely mint, but I think it'll play fine, so I went ahead and picked it up. Don't see that one very often. Um, used to watch this, I believe, when I was a kid. I, I was pretty sure, so uh -huh. went ahead and picked it up. I haven't seen it in years. Um, we got some Peter Rabbit, the Peter Rabbit rabbit collection the tale of peter rabbit and benjamin bunny and then the tale of mr todd so for a dollar fifty i went ahead and picked it up um, this will be for sale we got brand new factory sealed the never-ending story i have it on blue or no i don't have it on blu-ray but i have the second one on blu-ray i think um, i think i'm missing this one so i want to get them all on blu-ray since i have the second one so this will be for sale if you're interested and this I'll have to do some research on. Um, I know I bought it, but I can't remember if I bought the DVD or Blu-ray. For the price, I went ahead and picked it up. Um, so it, either the DVD will be for sale or another copy on Blu-ray will be, will be for sale. we got The Wild Bunch. This has William Holden, Ernest Borgenine, Robert Ryan, Edmund O'Brien, Warren Oates, Jamie Sanchez, and Ben Johnson. This movie is supposed to be very good, so... I've never seen it, so I'm looking forward to checking it out whenever we do. Um, but like I said, one copy will be for sale. Um, and then here we got a Guilty Pleasure movie. Um, I didn't think we had it yet. Um, so we got Queen Latifah and Jimmy Fallon and Taxi. Um, not the greatest of movies for sure. Um, but for some reason, I always enjoyed watching it. So I went ahead and picked it up. And my wife said she hadn't seen it, so I'll have to watch that one and then this I'm not sure let me know what you guys think again I like I've said I'm not the hugest um, scary movie or horror fan um, we got creep show brand new factory sealed I might end up keeping this I might have already picked it up I'm not sure I'll have to look into that as well um, but I went ahead and picked it up and it's brand new factory sealed oh and then I also got a bobblehead 
The box is not in the best of shapes. Um, this was from the 50th anniversary of the Indiana Pacers. I'm a big Pacer fan. Um, they did a series of these. I, each era got one. Um, and I didn't have this one yet, so we got Mel Daniels. Um, he was a big man for the Pacers and the ABA championship teams they had. So, very happy to have this. Um, and I also picked up, which I need to test, I haven't done so yet, for only $9. Um, we got a Nintendo 64. Um, I might be gifting this to um, viewer and friend Corey, who um, donated a lot of stuff to my collection. Um, so, I'm going to test it out and see if it works. It does have the power cord, but it is missing the AV cables. Um, so... We'll have to get that, but um, I'll have to test this soon. I I assume it works fine, but I mean, I guess you never know. Um, but I thought it was definitely worth picking up regardless. All right. So then, so that was all the fifty percent off the two um, Goodwills I went to on Saturday kind of in the time crunch but I was very happy with everything we picked up so then the next day I went to a couple goodwills before the Sandler concert like I said um, I think this was the first one um, I got a VHS copy of Richie Rich um, already had this in the collection on DVD but one to like I've said before I think um, I'm trying to go back and buy some of the old VHS movies that I always wanted when I was a kid on VHS and never got. Um, so this was one of them. And we're actually going to go to the Biltmore um, Estate, which is the house for the movie. Um, so I might end up taking this with me and getting a picture in front of the, the estate with this in my hand. So um, anyways, I'm looking to re forward to rewatching this sometime. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen it, but a uh, great movie. And this, I'm not sure on. I love sports documentaries and sports in general. Um, and it's narrated by Kevin Costner. We got The Long R Home Run, um, Omaha, and the College World Series. So, looking forward to checking this out. Looks like it was put out by NCAA and um, Creative Street Entertainment, so... Looking forward to watching this one. That's getting ready to start here. Um, this I picked up for my wife. She really enjoyed this show when it was on. And actually just re recently re-watched it. Um, probably within the last year. Um, I saw her watching some of it. And I don't know if I would like it or not. But maybe I'll give it a shot if we end up purchasing all the seasons. Um, this is the complete second season of Gossip Girl brand new factory sealed um so i had to pay full price on everything because this wasn't the saturday so this was three dollars and so was um this one and this one's brand new factory sealed too um richie rich was 99 cents and i also got which i was also excited about because we either have the second or third or fourth season um we got the complete first season of the big bang theory and it's not brand new, but the factory seal is still intact. Um, so it's never been watched. Um, so I used to watch this when it was originally on. I can't remember. I got probably at least four or five seasons in and then for whatever reason quit watching. Um, so it's getting ready to go off the air. So I'll probably try to get all the seasons and go back and binge watch it here at some point. So that's everything I got at that one Goodwill. The other one, I'll show that last. Thought this was kind of cool, kind of the same thing. Oh, I didn't want this when I was a kid uh, for my VHS collection, but um, I'm also getting uh, movies I think are just kind of cool to have on VHS. So we got Pulp Fiction, which is of course an amazing movie, and the condition of this is very good too. I've, I only try to pick up ones that are in very good condition or movies I think that would be cool to have on VHS. So this is one of them. Next up, which will be for sale or 
Um, my buddy might want it. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm a big Pacer fan, so I already have my own copy of this. This was put out by PBS and WFYI um, Productions. We got undefeated, the Roger Brown story. So he was a guard forward for the ABA Pacers. He also played in the NBA. I think he won a championship with the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, but very underrated player. He is in the Hall of Fame, but he doesn't get talked about very much. And his story is very interesting. Um, I have watched this, and I highly recommend it. You might be able to watch it on YouTube, actually. I'm not sure on that. I think they, they did have it posted there for a while, but... They might have taken it down, but um, very good documentary. If you're interested in it, let me know. Over there. Um, got the complete third season of Downton Abbey on DVD. So now I just looked. I think we have the first, the third, and the fifth now. And I looked, there's either, I want to say there's six seasons. Huh. So we're getting there. Um, my parents watched it and really liked it. I've only heard good things. So, um, not sure if we'll like it or not, but probably end up giving it a chance here at some point. Um, this, you know, video games normally at our, here in Indiana anyways, um, the Goodwills, they normally have the video games at $6. This was only marked at 3 it is kind of scratched up, but I think it'll play fine. I'm going to give it a chance. If not, um, I have been wanting to get a resurfacer um, type of thing or cleaner, disc cleaner. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up anyway. We got Crash Bandicoot, um, The Wrath of Cortex. This is the greatest hits version for PlayStation 2. So I uh, thought that was worth picking up. Now, I was also very happy to pick this up finally. Um, we got the 1979 championship game, which of course had Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson, Indiana State versus Michigan State in the championship game. <clears throat> and this one, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. So um, I actually tried to purchase it not too long ago via, via a Facebook Marketplace deal, and it the person stopped messaging me back or something like that which is really annoying um, that recently happened to me actually um, nearby town half an hour away I said I could drive there any night of the week after work after five um, and we had agreed on a price for a Nintendo Switch with box and two games uh, Mario Kart 8 and some random switch game I wasn't familiar with um, they had it marked at 200 so I said would you do 150 which I would have do, done 200 but figured might as well try um, so she said she didn't respond so I said 175 and said 180 I said okay um, so then she said she'd let me know what what worked best and then I never heard back again I kept trying to message her and trying to get something set up to where we can meet and I could purchase it. I've been really wanting one. Um, so, I mean, that would have been a great deal for me. But at the same time, it's $120 off of what it would j just be for the system. But, I mean, it's used. Anyways, it didn't happen, so I was pretty bummed about that. But, oh well. Hopefully I'll get one here at some point. Um, and then also, like I said, I got this Adam Sandler CD. Um, a Netflix original comedy special, 100% Fresh, which is the name of the tour. Um, so it's the new album. So it's $50 for the shirt and the CD. Um, if you guys haven't listened to it yet, I highly recommend checking out uh, Phone Wallet Keys. Uh, it was really great. Um, great show, though, all around. Um, and we had a great time. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I really had a good time. I'm going Goodwill shopping over the weekend and going to see Adam Sandler. Um, I always loved his movies when I was growing up, especially Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Waterboy. So anyways, this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Yeah.